So, if we're going to do lateral work and we're moving from the right to the left, the energy, the force that creates that movement should come from the right hind pushing off the ground. Yeah? It pushes into the ground. That force travels up through the horse's skeleton, enters your right sit bone. And we know it enters your right sit bone because that sit bone gets lifted. And that force comes through the sit bone, up into the spine, right, via the sacrum, up into the spine. It moves, it's not the speed of light. That force doesn't move at the speed of light. It moves at the speed of gravity, it moves at the speed of the hind feet. So, as this force enters your right sit bone, we want to direct it into your spleen gate. And we do that by breathing into this area and opening it. So as that force, instead of coming up on the right side and going this way, it comes up on the right side, is transferred laterally across your body into the spleen gate. From the spleen gate, it goes into the palm of the hand. Right? All of this happens as the foot is pushing into the earth. Right? As the foot stepping forward, all that energy is already in the palm of the hand. Okay? On the inside of the body. Make sense? As the sit bone, as the high steps forward then, it just puts this energy into your body and you redirected it laterally into the spleen gate. As that hind foot steps forward, and your sit bone then starts to drop, and this femur bone rolls backward naturally, is when you use the leg aid to direct the hind foot that's now out of energy because it all came into your body, it's in the air, and it will step under the weight. It'll step under where that energy is, where that force is. Does that make sense? So it moves just like me on the ground. If I push off with my left leg and open my, I'm sorry, my right leg and open my spleen gate, my first movement is this way. Then this leg can come across. But if I don't open this, my first movement is forward, then I have to step short here and then push this leg over. And my body does just exactly that. So when you see this in a rider, you know that they're leveraging. They haven't moved the energy inside their body. They're moving it on the outside, which is fine. But this movement allows my spine to stay straight as I move laterally, rather than going, because this is a weak position. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So the timing is, this opens to receive, to receive the energy coming up from the sit bone. Does that make sense? So you can leave it open, and there's no energy there from this side, and that's okay. It stays open so that when the right hind, sorry, the left hind pushes off, that energy also comes up on this side. Does that make sense? So when I exhale, I have to figure out a way, if I'm doing a lateral movement to the left, to keep this open basically all the time? Yeah, so that the power is like this. I keep this open, the power from this leg comes up across my pelvis, through my spine here, and then the power that comes up from this leg stays there too. Everything stays here because it's open. You have to receive it. And then the timing of the leg, the outside leg, is just as the sit bone drops and that hind is, that hind is gonna step across because the weight is here. But you're gonna influence it just with that little outward roll of the femur. Right, when it drops, the femur rolls back. And I'll just put the cap on. Okay? So you see, the gates can be held open or shut without the breath. But in the beginning, we always use the breath to open them. So, to access them. And then we have to change them. Oh, look at that. We got to get Can I try a little walk? Yes, that's what we're doing right now. So I want you to go. With all that explanation, now I want you to try it. So, don't be too connected to the result. Be in the moment. Feel the push. Now. 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 That lifts that right sit bone. Now. 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 Those are the strides right there. Now. Now, when you use your inside leg, so turn here and just come back this way. I know it's um, 
Now the rhythm's quicker, yeah? So this is the deal with rising trot and lateral work. When you receive the energy from that, from the right arm, it lifts you into the post, yeah? of the pose, just as you start to sit, is when you have to use the leg. Because if you wait till you sit, that hand puts on the ground already. So the timing is quicker, right? But you can't, if you use the leg before the energy transfers through your body, you'll walk the energy. Then it will be an ex it'll be all external. See how you, it might be like way up here right now, but the movement of the force inside your body has to come first. Now it might be the difference between the first snap is the movement of the energy, the second snap is the leg. And we're so unaccustomed to feeling the force moving, we just get that external. So it takes some time to feel the timing. But because of the work that you did at the walk, you were grappling the awareness of the game, you set you up to be able to succeed in feeling the timing very precisely. to go so that the withers stay square as they move forward. What happened when your weight got over here? You started actually turning this way and it was just you holding the horse in position that kept them from just going straight. So the timing 
And I'm doing this because we have all this history and you've practiced. Uh, you guys said it's maybe your first or second ride. I won't, we won't do this, right? Because I don't want to make you crazy. But as that force comes up and you're starting to receive the force through the spleen from the opposite leg, the sternum has to bend slightly in. So the timing of it is, yes, because you don't want the withers, you don't want the horse to go, okay. right? You want okay. the chest to be here and move laterally. Now, in the rhythm, it looks like nothing moves. Because as you, as, you're, as you put your leg on, the sternum turns this way, and you get this loaded spring action, and that keeps your weight from staying over here. So he's not just falling under your weight. Okay. It's this cycle of you move it, then you turn this way, because when you sit, you have to receive the energy again here. Right. It's a cycle, you receive it, you redirect it. When you sit, you have to receive it again. If you're over here when you sit, okay. you can't receive it. So is it a little bit like resetting the belly button on yes, the hand? Yes, yes, yes. It's the same kind of. And oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so we have to re. Don't even come in if you want. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little. It's going to be about this much. Leg. Okay. <laughs> so much like walking on a circle, except here. Would that help me if I walk a circle on the ground? Yes, like after that? you, yeah, after you, absolutely. Because you feel that rhythm, that okay. turn. And it's so funny because there's a sword, there's a, a sword form where you start to move like this. Right? And you, uh, I just don't like it. So, as this foot steps, I have to go. So, when it steps, my body's loaded with energy still. If I go, that's technically right. But there's no, it's not this. So, it's this really, like I, I, it's, it's the same thing like in the manner. I have to reset the belly button and stride. Yes. And see, I fall back in my old habit of thinking, okay, I'm going to be so still, I don't disrupt their sideways balance, but then I'm not helping them. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. You're still on his back, but you're not moving. You're not. I'm not moving enough yes. with him you're and the resetting the belly button yes. to help him. Your bones and your sternum, remember, this is not so much belly button this time this as it is leg and sternum, to, because the sternum is going to direct where it's with its arm. You want his chest this way as you're coming laterally. If you're, you know, we talked about dressage and warfare. If I'm doing lateral work, my opponent, my, the other guy in the horse is right there, and I want to take this angle. So I don't go like this, because then I'm exposed. I go. Oh, okay. And you don't want to take your eyes off him either. Yeah, because my sword will go on, or my shield, or my spike, or whatever. So that's it, and you can't be going. Well, let me, oh, I have to pull the right button, I can't use my sword. So it's this body position that lets you go. It's much like walking on a circle, except here. Would that help me if I walk a circle on the ground? Yes, like after that? you, yeah, after you, absolutely. Because you feel that rhythm, that okay. turn. So this sets up new changes. At least in your body, being able to feel it. Over there. Yeah! So when I say there, what I really see is I, I see it in her body, but I see the horse float forward and to the side, and there's no big movement. So Chris, you, can you feel those moments where the horse is up and floating to the side? When I do that little Push my right leg. Good, good, good. Can you feel the rhythm of the coat with your right leg? That your right leg is on, it doesn't come off, but it's not, it's not the only aid. Right. As we move this force through our bones and we start using the gait, the external aids become less and less necessary. They're just there as a support, not there as a primary function. Now get the spleen, not the hip. The spleen is above the hip. Get it up higher. 
So you're not just pushing the hip over, right? Okay. And this work is absolutely within lead changes, okay. right? This, this sets up, this sets up lead changes. At least in your body, being able to feel it. Cyclone, it's the power of a spiral, right? There's a spiral in this movement in your body, right? It's not a full twist, but there's a torque in there that happens. Okay, so as we start the next lesson, we practice. I want you to practice this, and then I want you to go on to a circle for a little bit. And practice the time to turn to the sternum as the inside sit bone on the circle is lifted. Remember, we're bending that energy. This is the coolest stuff about this, you guys. When that force enters your bones, you can actually bend it. By moving your bones, you bend that energy, which is just, it's that power of a cyclone, it's the power of a spiral, right? There's a spiral in this movement in your body. Right? It's not a full twist, but there's a torque in there that happens. 